Well, trees improve the place in which we live. They clean the air, um, they help stabilise the soil. I mean, they literally root the soil down so it doesn't erode. And they help prevent flooding. And of course, they bring beauty to our lives, as you can see in the autumn scene behind me. But I mean, they do so much more for humans as well. I mean, you know, if you're a human, you want to go and relax, you know, what better thing to do than walk through a wood or even just sit at the base of a tree and contemplate, you know, philosophise, which of course is exactly, you know, what the Buddha did. But trees, of course, also provide a home for other nature. I mean, a good oak tree can support um, upwards of a thousand different species. We need trees. The first thing I think um, we need to say is how much the English countryside needs protecting. Um, just for instance, um, we are degrading our soil so much through the misuse of chemicals on farms that Britain will be lucky to have 100 more harvests. Um, we are losing all our birds. The decline of farmland birds is something like generally 50% in the last 50 years. Um, things I grew up with when, as a child, you know, common things like skylarks singing in the sky are now a rarity. So we really do have to do something before we actually go over um, the you know, ecological precipice. I mean, everybody can do something, okay? I mean, you can join a conservation group like this and you can go planting trees. But at home, you can do anything from, and, and anything really positive is important. You know, you can just create a small pond on your balcony with up to a kitchen sink. And that will actually work. You know, if you've got a lawn, you can turn it into um, a wild flower meadow. The important thing is there's something that everyone can do. I mean, you know, if we want me to be controversial, I'd also say we need to put an awful lot of um, pressure on government, no matter what its political hue, to actually do something very positive towards the English countryside. And given that farming takes up a good 70% of the English countryside, we actually need to change the whole basis of our farming, away from intensive farming and the over exploitation of land into a style of farming that's more sustainable, but also more beneficial to nature. Wood was the first serious fuel, so it'd be awfully cold without trees. Um, but more seriously, I mean, you know, there was a time in which um, wood touched our lives from cradle to grave because, you know, uh, Charles Cott was made out of oak and you were buried in a coffin, you know, wood completely encompassed our lives. Um, it was a farmer's plough, um, for instance. Um, it provided the tannin for the leather industry. Um, and of course, wood in the form of oak made the wooden walls of Nelson's Navy. I mean, without wood for Nelson's Navy and Nelson's Navy, Britain would never have become the superpower that it was. I mean, it's actually oak that made Britain a superpower. Um, the oak for the British was exactly the same as the buffalo was to the Sioux Indians. It was the all provider. You know, it fed us, it actually even clothed us, it uh, made our homes, it made our nation.